One of the real beauties of a GoPro is the size means that you can go outdoors and film without actually being too inconspicuous. Um, that's quite nice, especially if you're in restaurants on holiday or something. And uh, you just want to get the camera out and not be noticed and um, get some kind of shot. Now, that's all well and good, and it does work really well because no one actually notices a GoPro, really, unless you start flashing it around. But uh, the downside is that if you're not using a shotgun on the top, something uh, that's directional, everyone notices it. As soon as you put the, the dead cat on, everyone will notice that um, you're using a camera, especially with that microphone on the top. So it's really nice to put a tiny one on the side. Now, the editage is on the side of my GoPro at the moment. And the nice thing is, it's a lovely loud mic. It picks up well, but the unfortunate part is that it's omnidirectional. So in order to pick up your voice properly, you really are relying on the fact that you're closer to the microphone than the noise around you. And um, as you've just heard, there's been a lot of traffic coming past and uh, it's been quite noisy. So whether you heard my speech or not is another question. But there's no doubt that having a GoPro on a tiny little handheld um, stand like I have here or walking along the street with it, most people don't actually notice too much until you put that big microphone on the top and that's when it gets noticed. So this is what it sounds like uh, when you're just walking down the street, very close to traffic and uh, it is actually quite noisy on occasions here. Um, just to give some idea of how this thing would work in a noisy environment like a restaurant. I'm uh, very lucky to live in quite a rural area and uh, it is actually really picturesque or as I sometimes say picture skew. It's lovely. Um, but the uh, thing is, is uh, what I'm doing now is I'm talking behind the camera as I walk. So my, um, I'm closer, much closer, about uh, six, nine inches away from the microphone. And that way it picks up really quite well because as I said earlier, it is Omni. And uh, when traffic goes past, it actually means that you are just that little bit closer to your microphone so that hopefully you audio, your audio stays in contact with your camera. When there's no traffic around here, it is actually really, really nice. It's like being in the middle of nowhere. It's really lovely. Well, this is a big one, so I don't know if you're going to still hear me if I talk into it now. This is, uh, that was a real hefty one that went by. Actually, the one thing you do notice when you walk down here that is that after um, a load of cars have gone by, you can actually smell the petrol fumes. Um, quite nasty actually, quite strong. So uh, must be awful being in a really busy town to have that around you all the time. For me, this is a much nicer place to be where the traffic's not here, I'm on the little tiny side roads around my house. Um, it's uh, actually really relaxing just to go for a walk and um, I do love it around here. And um, this is another way that you would probably use something like this on holiday, um, where you're out in the country somewhere and then you're going to be more aware and probably get more uh, wind running over the microphone. So um, I do have a protection on the microphone to stop that. And um, in these conditions, it's probably going to sound a lot more easy on the ear with uh, less background, although I'm still not that far from the road at the moment. Um, but um, it gives you some idea as to how it picks up your surroundings while you're talking. And um, this can be quite nice because it's an Omni and uh, especially if you're in the country you can uh, pick up the sounds of the birds and the atmosphere around you and the wind in the trees actually it's rather nice. God just as I said that a car went by. So having an omnidirectional microphone on your camera is not necessarily a bad thing because it picks you up from front to back um, you've just got to be a little bit more careful in noisy environments and if you are in a noisy place like a cafe or a restaurant it's better to just get close to the microphone if you're going to speak or put the thing on an extension and get it close to the speakers and um, that way just having the proximity closer to the 
source of the sound makes it naturally louder and uh, will take the noise of your surroundings away. At the moment it's quite noisy here with the trees actually. The wind is uh, puffing away through the trees. So it um, gives you some idea as to what this thing sounds like when you're outdoors. Um, I think actually on microphones very often that sound, that tree sound, can be mistaken for um, microphone noise. It comes out as hiss. Um, but um, it's quite nice to have some of that background there because it gives you a sense of where you are. So having an omnidirectional um, microphone on your camera isn't necessarily a bad thing. Also, one of the real plus things about having an omnidirectional on your camera is that it's way less prone to picking up um, the sound of the wind crossing the, uh, the top of the microphone. They're less susceptible to the sound of the air, to the wind noises. And, um, you know, if you put a cardioid on, you have to cover that up because uh, that's going to go off like a, a banshee when the wind goes across it. But omnidirectionals are much less prone to that and um, they're actually less prone to proximity effect as well. So you don't get that booming bass that you can get from cardioids if you get too close. So there are some advantages to uh, having... Um... Sorry, I'm looking around because there's a lovely farm here. Absolutely gorgeous. So just to finish, this is the sound of the microphone probably at its worst. I'm in the kitchen and this is a terrible room for sound. Lots of echoes, um, lots of hard surfaces. But uh, when you're on holiday, you're probably going to take a few shots in the kitchen, but not too many. So um, you don't have to put up with it for too long. But that's the sound of the microphone in an echoey environment. This is the kind of sound that you're going to get in a front room and uh, when you get into the, your hotel or uh, into your little villa somewhere. Um, this is the sound you're going to get when you're in a normal type of room. So this is about 12 by 14 or so, I suppose. And um, soft furnishings. Now the thing is about the Editage, it's a very nice microphone. Um, actually, um, in some ways, I prefer it to my Mic Booster Little Clippy, which I've used for some time. Now, for, a, for quite a period, I've used a, a little clippy on a long lead. So I've just dangled the lead or wound it up. And then I bought uh, from Mic Booster a little microphone just on a plug. Um, but the problem with that is that it only puts audio into one side. So you end up having to change it in post. With this one, you get the audio in both channels. And um, actually, it's louder. It puts out a louder output than the uh, little clippy, uh, quite a bit louder too. Um, the thing is, it's a cheap microphone. I think it's about £29 in the UK. Um, it has a very healthy sound and I really do quite like it a lot. Um, I think this is the one I'm going to use uh, quite a bit because it's so tiny. It puts out a healthy output. It's stereo and, all, and although the, the noise figure is quoted as being quite a bit lower than the, um, the little clippy, I don't particularly notice it, to be honest. It's not that bad. So it makes me wonder um, where are these noise figures actually coming from? But, you know, you can't, uh, I can't measure it, so I can't say. But um, I think this is really worth it and uh, I'm going to use this one a lot. If you like my videos, please consider subscribing and um, hit the bell even better so that next time I make a video you get notified and I hope to see you next time. Cheers for now.